Mrs. Mathis died during the night while a patient here at Fairview, although none of the staff realized it at the time. How was that possible? Well, as I recall, the night nurse thought she was sleeping. It wasn't until breakfast was served the next morning that anyone realized she was dead. Now, based on the results of the autopsy, I attributed the cause of death to cardiac arrest. Yeah, but you said you had some reservation. Yes. Why? What bothered me was that several of the obvious signs of heart failure were not present. Now, that's my note in the report. Now, on the other hand, I've seen cases where the heart simply stopped working and the physical trauma associated with it was therefore non-existent. But if you had doubts... Which the... you obviously did. Then why, didn't, why did you rule out the possibility of foul play? <laughs> well, under the circumstances, it would have been preposterous. Why? As far as I knew, Mrs. Mathis was a happily married woman with no enemies. As she wasn't wealthy, she didn't have insurance. In short, why would anyone want to kill her? Yet you considered the possibility. Why? Well, if you'd asked me when all of this had happened, I would have said I was wrong in the first place. Couldn't prove a thing. But now? Well, there, we know a lot of things now that we didn't know then like how certain poisons can go undetected in an autopsy, making death appear to be by natural causes when it's really the result of murder. What kind of poison are you talking about? Strychnine comes to mind. A very insidious stuff, strychnine. A massive dose kills instantly, without a trace, unless it's specifically tested for. Or if it's administered to the victim in small doses, slowly over a period of time, results first in illness and finally in death. Oh my God. Could that be what Ken's doing to my mother? <laughs>